بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ناؤ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو ہاؤ ٹو پریپیئر این آبسٹرکٹک رپورٹ ان سونو سافٹ الٹرا ساؤنڈ سافٹ ویئر کلک آن دا سونو سی ٹی آر ایل مینو آئٹم ان دا ٹاپ لیفٹ کارنر کلک ایڈ ایڈٹ این انٹری ہیئر یو ول انٹر دی آئی ٹی نمبر آف دا پیشنٹ سپوز اٹ از زیرو 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 ٹو اینڈ کلک اوکے رائٹ دا نیم آف دا پیشنٹ سپوز اٹ از سلما دین اینٹر ایج آف دا پیشنٹ سپوز شی از تھرٹی فور ایئرس میل اینڈ ریفرڈ بائی سپوز دس از دی ڈاکٹر ہو ہیز ریفرڈ دس پیشنٹ ناؤ یو ہیو ٹو پریپیئر دا پیشنٹس الٹرا ساؤنڈ رپورٹ ایکچولی دا میتھڈ آف پریپیئرنگ آپس رپورٹ فار فسٹ ٹرائی میسٹر سیکنڈ ٹرائی میسٹر اینڈ تھرڈ ٹرائی میسٹر از دا سیم سپوز وی ہیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو پریپیئر دا رپورٹ فار دا تھرڈ ٹرائی میسٹر آف دی آپس کین کلک دس بٹن اینڈ ناؤ اٹ ول آسک یو ٹو ایڈ این امیج آف دی الٹرا ساؤنڈ دیٹ یو ہیو کیپچرڈ آن یور پی سی پلیز سلیکٹ دا امیج سپوز مائی امیجز آر ان دا فولڈر ان دس فولڈر اینڈ آئی سلیکٹ دس امیج دس از دا امیج سپوز دس از اٹ کین بی اینی امیج ناؤ یو ناؤ یو کین ایڈ مور امیجز بائی کلکنگ دس بٹن ایڈ مور امیجز اینڈ دین ڈبل کلک آن دس بٹن اینڈ اٹ ایسک یو ایڈ مور امیج یس اوکے ناؤ یو کین کلک اینڈر امیج ڈبل کلک آن دس ایریا it is saying do you really want to change the picture uh, reference say yes and then select another image well you can add another image you up to seven images can be added suppose we have added uh, two uh, three images total okay return back now uh, this area is telling you that two more images have been added in addition to this one image okay now come to this uh, uh, screen where you will edit the patient report first is number uh, how many number uh, the intrauterine pregnancy i mean a single it is a one fetus pregnancy two fetus pregnancy or three fetus pregnancy then nst and bp score cns of the uh, of the fetus abdomen of the fetus extremities of the fetus now before editing any of these uh, entries first of all you will click measurements because this is very important step before editing any entry first of all you enter the biometry of the fetus because every normal value will uh, that is entered in this uh, patient report is based on the biometry findings uh, click the measurements and then here you can first of all you you should enter the lmp of the patient if you if if you know or the patient knows what is her lmp if the patient doesn't know her lmp then you can click uncertain this is uncertain this uh, this is lmp date is uncertain otherwise don't check it and enter the date by selecting from this uh, area now uh, once you click uncertain yeah, then you can enter all these parameters mean gestational sac diameter crown rump length bpd occipital frontal diameter head circumference femur length and abdominal circumference one thing about abdominal circumference is very important that you should add the abdominal circumference in multiples of fives like 50 55 60 65 it can never be between uh, 62 63 it should be either 60 or 65 it should be 70 or 75 or 80 or 85 so it should be in the form of multiples of 5 so from 100 to 365 mm you can enter abdominal circumference suppose uh, the patient's uh, bpd was uh, 50 mm and you want to only enter this uh, this biometry 
well you can enter all the end uh, biometries suppose we enter only bpd now as you enter 50 in this area and uh, click calculate and the fetal age is calculated it is 20 weeks and 7 days and the edd is uh, displayed in front of it that is 3rd july 2023 click ok if you don't enter uh, LMP either you don't select the LMP date or you don't click uncertain this OK button will never be available to you you should at least give the LMP date exact date or you should click uncertain and then enter any biometry of the patient and then click OK now here you see the measurements LMP date is uncertain with bipedal diameter 50 mm the fetal age corresponds to 20 weeks and 7 days see here is written that gestation is, is 20 weeks 7 days and EDD is 3rd July 2023 if you intend to change this gestational age suppose you uh, say that it was not 20 uh, weeks and 7 days you can uh, click here that you you say that is, it is 21 weeks and 7 days when if the gestational age you change gestation then click this button calculate EDD according to this age uh, then the a EDD will be calculated according to the weeks and days you have entered in these will these are editable fields and then you should click calculate and it will be calculated accordingly well this is very important that you should uh, uh, as you select the images and you come to this screen first of all you should click the measurements after you enter the measurements the biometry of the patient then these presentation weight placenta amniotic fluid umbilical cord chest and heart these options will become only available after you enter the measurements if you don't enter the measurements these options will not be available to you now uh, if it is a single click the button number and you will uh, you can enter here either it is a single interuterine pregnancy either it is twin uh, suppose it was uh, it is a single intrauterine pregnancy click enter an intrauterine pregnancy scene click ok and it will update what is written here NST BP score suppose this score is uh, NST BP score uh, for uh, for fetus A for fetus B or for both fetuses if uh, you think that it was twin pregnancy otherwise just click this one and enter the bpp score suppose uh, this is uh, seven out of ten then click ok and it will be updated over here cns click the cns uh, every uh, feature possible feature uh, is uh, written over here like if it is normal it uh, anencephaly exencephaly and you see there is exencephaly just click this option just click this option and it everything will be written over here and suppose it was exencephaly uh, and if you are not uh, uh, comfortable with uh, this writing you can even add it in this uh, box or you can if, if you mis mistakenly you have clicked uh, any area then you can click clear text so it will be cleared so it's it was normal cerebellum you can click uh, cerebellum nasal bone orbit and spine is normal so it will be written over here click oh, whatever you select from here it will, it will be written over here and then click ok and uh, the cns uh, findings will be updated over here then click abdomen if this is uh, the screen that pops up with abdominal uh, abnormalities normalities everything uh, suppose it is normal click normal and click ok and now comes the extremities here are the extremities uh, suppose they were normal click normal ok if you don't click normal normal are already entered in these edit areas you can still edit uh, in this area as well if you are not comfortable with the uh, by clicking this you can still write something over here it is all these fields are editable now come with the presentation click presentation and suppose it, it is a, a vertex presentation breach presentation suppose the fetus fetus presentation is vertex with occiput facing right transfer right occiput transfers click ok and it will be updated what you have selected there and now comes the fetal 
weight fetal weight uh, you can calculate the fetal weight from uh, these uh, uh, you, you you click this button and it will calculate the fetal weight itself but for calculation of the fetal weight uh, you must have uh, entered the bpd abdominal circumference and femur length suppose i calculate this button and it and it says in the uh, up right upper corner please enter femur length abdominal circumference and bpd in millimeter then suppose and uh, uh, entered in measurements the bpd femur length and abdominal circumference then it will calculate the fetal weight for you automatically a formula has been fed into the software suppose your ultrasound machine tells you the fetal weight is 2300 grams now click on the normal it should tell you at this gestational age that was 20 weeks and 7 days how much should be the fetal weight it will automatically write that it should be this one click ok then placenta uh, placenta, all the locations, placenta, membrane, ashy, abrepsio, placenta, creta, vasa, choreo, angioma, everything is written, all the possible abnormalities of the placenta, you just have to uh, click on the uh, writing that you want to write, just click it and it will be written, suppose it is, uh, it is normal, it is, placenta is normal in eco texture, it is uh, located along the interior, right lateral wall and upper segment of uterus everything is written over here and you click ok now comes the amniotic fluid uh, if it is before 24 weeks single vertical pocket is uh, usually uh, reported and after 24 weeks the four pockets are uh, reported so you uh, amniotic fluid index is suppose it is uh, 12 centimeter click on the normally should be 5 to 20 centimeter click ok and umbilical cord resistive index are uh, three acquired three vessel umbilical card seen and its resistive index is 0 0.50 now click normal should be it should it will calculate normal values according to the uh, fetal age that you entered in the measurements def it it will calculate itself the software will calculate itself but should be the normal ri at this fetal age that is why i said that first of all before editing any entry in the screen always enter first of all measurements the biometries it's better that you should at least give bpd abdominal circumference and femur length with these three entries the software can calculate the fetal weight it can calculate the ri of the fetus every, everything will be calculated automatically okay and now you see th these are red when before clicking they were red now when you click them uh, it becomes uh, green it tells you that, that you have uh, uh, properly edited these fields now click the chest suppose the heart rate is uh, 140 beats per minute click ok and it will be everything will be written in this uh, uh, screen in this uh, window and uh, just if you want to add additional remarks click here and you can write additional remarks any you want to report if you want to uh, preview the report then you can uh, along with printing click uh, check this uh, box and then click print report and exit uh, click this one and here is the report immediately it uh, writes down each and everything what you have edited with the name of the patient third trimester of scan and additional remarks are written over here here is the card according to the ultrasound gestation is itne and edd is this one uh, this is this one picture is uh, added over here and more images added please see the next page if we if you click the next page this next page also displays the images and it with the it so two page printout will be handed over to the patient 
this is how you can edit the ops report the method for uh, first trimester second trimester and third trimester are the same the most important thing is that uh, when you are editing uh, an ops report please enter measurements the biometries first and then edit any other uh, area of the uh, fetus thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next video allah hafiz